today I'm going to be in my kitchen, obviously. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up and I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite Thanksgiving recipes. I've never done a recipe video like this before, so this is gonna be exciting. I don't normally cook a lot. Most of y'all know that. I like to go out to eat, okay? But I do cook every now and then, especially during the holidays when there's other people to cook for. So if I'm entertaining for family or friends, I love to cook for Thanksgiving. We are scaling down our gatherings and for Friendsgiving this year, I'm not gonna have a huge Friendsgiving party at my house. Um, so I am gonna be making my dish a little bit smaller this year, but I wanted to share with you all anyway, just in case you are gonna be cooking for your family and you wanted some ideas on what to cook. In this video, I will be making my favorite recipe and it is sweet potato casserole. I love sweet potatoes with marshmallows and it's just, it just reminds me of the fall. And I'm going to be showing you guys my Amazon Echo Show and how I use it. This is the Echo Show right here. It's a big speaker, so not only can I use it to play music and stuff while I'm cooking, you can use this to look up new recipes. I do like to use this for making lists. So I make um, my grocery list with Echo Show. So this is the Amazon Echo Show. As you can see, there's my vacation pictures showing. Um, but I do use this to uh, basically just guide me through everything in my house. I can use it to turn the lights on. I can use it to use um, Food Never Kitchen. Oh look, there it is, Food Never Kitchen. So Alexa, show me recipes for sweet potato casserole. For sweet potato casserole, here's a few recipes and boom, bam. And then you can use this recipe while you're cooking. I do like to use a recipe just to make sure that I'm following along correctly and doing everything correctly. As you can see, there's the picture there. You can click the video if you wanna play the video. My sweet potatoes, I roasted these guys earlier. Isn't that fun? So I'm not gonna use the video while I'm cooking, but it does have all of the ingredients that I need to get here, and it has all the steps that I need to take right here. Start the recipe, save the recipe, and add to shopping list. Like I said, I need to get the ingredients so that I can cook in the morning. I'm not gonna cook it tonight, girl, I got stuff to do. I'm gonna use the shopping list. I have added all ingredients to your shopping list. Yes. And because my Echo Show is linked to my Amazon account, everything is in my shopping list. So I'm gonna go to my Amazon app and go to Alexa lists. And then all of my ingredients that I need to get are here. So it's super clutch, that way I know where everything is and I don't have to worry about trying to find the recipe while I'm shopping in the store. I'm not even gonna go to the store. I'm gonna get all these ingredients in my cart order it on Whole Foods and go to Whole Foods, sit in the car and let them put them groceries in my back seat, okay? Once I get all my ingredients, I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I make the recipe. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited. All right, what's up guys? I'm back, it's the morning, okay? Um, I'm about to make my sweet potatoes. So I have all of my ingredients sitting out in front of me. And I have my Echo Show in front of me as well. And all I have to do is ask for the recipe and it'll show up. So Alexa, show me my saved recipes. Here's your saved recipe. This is the recipe and when I'm ready to start, I can just click start or I can click on the video here or I can just leave it up to make sure that I have everything ready, which is what I'm about to do right now. Now that I have that pulled up, I have everything here. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients with you guys, even though it's on the recipe, and I'll be sure to put the recipe in the description box just in case you want um, any more information about exactly what I did, like the ingredients and everything. So obviously, first of all, you need some sweet potatoes. So I have my sweet potatoes here. I just got four regular size sweet potatoes. They're not super huge. Uh, it says white sugar, the recipe calls for white sugar, but I have organic cane sugar. Two eggs, so you're gonna need two eggs. I have my eggs here. You'll need a half teaspoon of salt. Four tablespoons of softened butter. My butter is over there, it's softening. You need a half cup of milk. I like to use dairy-free milk. If you don't wanna use dairy-free milk, feel free to use whatever milk that you like, whatever milk you prefer. I actually like the way it tastes with regular milk, but I try to do dairy-free for my family, so. You're gonna need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, so I have my vanilla. And then also to put on top, I like to use marshmallows. I love marshmallows. I am a marshmallow fanatic. The bag's already opened because I just love marshmallows. You need your marshmallows for the topping, which you'll put on last after you bake your sweet potatoes. Trust me, I almost burned down the house one time because I put sweet potatoes in and cooked the marshmallows for too long, they caught on fire. So yeah, don't do that, don't be like me. Preheat your oven 
to 350. Mine is preheating right now. You can either bake your sweet potatoes or you can boil them. I'm gonna peel my sweet potatoes, cut them up real nice, and then boil them so that they're ready to be mashed. Oh, and then for utensils wise, you just need a masher, um, something to mix everything with. If you have a uh, an electric mixer, that's perfect. It's going to really whip your potatoes and get a nice whipped texture. And then you also need something to put your sweet potatoes in to bake it. This is my casserole dish that I'm going to use. It's a square dish because I'm not cooking for a lot of people this time around. I'm not gonna use a big one. I usually have like a bigger, wider one, but I'm just gonna use this short one. It feeds about three to four people. And then you're gonna wanna grease this. So use butter or um, a light oil or something to spray the inside so that it doesn't stick. Before you put anything in your casserole dish though, you're gonna need a mixing bowl. So go ahead and get a mixing bowl. This one's a little too big, but it'll do. Uh, and a measuring cup for all your ingredients to, that you need to measure, so. So I'm just gonna get a saucepan like this and put some water in it. I'm just gonna salt my water. Let that boil for a second, and then I'm going to cut up my sweet potatoes. So I'm just rinsing off my sweet potatoes and peeling them with a peeler before I cut them. Um, it'll take about five, 10 minutes for those to get softened up really good. If you, like I said, if you wanna bake them, you can, but it's much easier and much quicker to cut them up and boil them because it takes way less time. If you bake your sweet potatoes, they'll probably take about an hour. So just keep in mind that you still have to bake sweet potato casserole after you've already baked or boiled your potatoes to prep them. So the prep time needs to be factored in. So I'm gonna wait for those sweet potatoes to boil and then I'm gonna come back. So you're gonna take your bowl, put your sweet potatoes in your bowl. So you can mash them. We're just gonna, why am I using this? A masher. Get you a potato masher, sis. Make your life easier. Use the potato masher to mash my potatoes, okay? So there we have our mashed sweet potatoes, nice and hot. Now we're gonna add our ingredients in. So we need a half a cup of sugar, so we're gonna add our sugar in. half teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna eyeball the salt, but a half teaspoon is not a lot, so. The thing about this recipe that I love is that it's kind of low key, like, customizable. Like, let me use another salt, this is really hard to get out. Blue sea salt. So there's a few things you can't really substitute, but pretty much everything in here is kind of like, based on your taste preferences. I'll have some extra ingredients that aren't necessarily normal ingredients for this recipe. They're not in the recipe listed. I like to put them in because that's my taste and that's what I like to do to spice it up, give them a little razzle dazzle. Because sweet potatoes are good by themselves. You can eat them by themselves with like just salt and butter. Um, but you can also add in sugar, you can add in cinnamon, you can add in nutmeg, you can add in a whole bunch of different things to make it your own. So that's what I love about this recipe. Although it is a sweeter dish, you can add some savory elements to it as well. I've seen some people use thyme and sage in their sweet potatoes. This recipe does not call for cinnamon or anything like that, but I love to put a little bit of cinnamon in here. So I switched over to my vlog camera so that you guys could really see what I was doing. Yeah, so I added in a little bit of cinnamon. Like I said, eyeball it. The recipe does call for a half teaspoon of vanilla, but I eyeball my vanilla as well, so. Just a dash should do it. I like to add a little pumpkin pie spice just for some extra added um, flavor in there. So just a sprinkle of that on there. And I like to add in a little bit of cayenne just to give it a little bit of a kick because I like a little bit of a spice to my sweet potato. So I add in just a little bit of cayenne pepper. We're gonna add in our butter. Usually if you buy butter, it is portioned out for you already. Like if you get butters and sticks, it'll show you how many, how much four tablespoons is, and that's half of the stick, which is kind of what I use. I'm gonna use a little bit more, a little bit of extra butter. Almond milk, half a cup. Yeah, half a cup. Two beaten eggs, so we're gonna get these eggs and beat them. Mm. 
mix it up I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon because I'm not smelling it I don't want to smell it okay all right so that's what our mixture should look like it's nice and ready to go into our nicely greased baking dish Now that the oven has been preheated, we're going to go ahead and put this into the oven. We're gonna bake that for 30 minutes and then put the marshmallows on top and then bake it again for about 10 more minutes just so the marshmallows can puff up really nicely and get brown on the top. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. So we're timing for 30 minutes, and she's gonna let me know when we're done. So, the timer's going off. The food is done. <laughs> the sweet potato is done in the oven, timer just went off. So I'm gonna take it out. It's what they look like. So we got our marshmallows, and I'm just gonna arrange them ever so delicately. That's not delicate. Sure those are nice and distributed evenly. This is what it looks like. Okay, 10 more minutes in the oven so that those can puff up and give a nice brown top. Back in the oven that goes. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. B. The finished product, okay. Yes, we have our sweet potato casserole. That is how you make sweet potato casserole. Super easy. So if you're looking for a like really easy holiday recipe to do, I love making this for Thanksgiving and for Christmas actually. I do make it for both holidays. So if you guys need any more information, like I said, the recipe will be in the description box along with a link to my Amazon Echo show that I love so much because it really helps me when I'm moving around in the kitchen just for like everyday purposes, you know, making lists for groceries and things like that, but also helping me put together my meal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video if you wanna see more and I will see you guys in my next one, okay? Bye.